Hello, my name is Koen van Olten. I work at the Royal Observatory of Belgium. And in this very short tutorial, I want to show you how you can visualize cross-sectional data in Google Earth. This is a very convenient and very easy tool, um, and it allows you to fly around your data in Google Earth, and you can impress your audience by making movies around your profiles and uh, adding several parallel or crossing profiles, and it gives a very nice visualization. And I will show you how to do it in this tutorial. The only program you need is SketchUp Make, and I advise you to download the 2015 version because in 2016 they removed the preview um, button that is uh, available in SketchUp Make. So uh, this preview button is very handy and I will show it later. So once you downloaded the program SketchUp Make, this is how it looks like. You can import your figure by going to File here, press Import, and now you can select your figure in your browser. I advise you to use the PNG format because PNG formats they allow transparency. So for instance, if you made your profile in um, Illustrator or in CorelDRAW or in PowerPoint and save it as a PNG, you will notice that the white frame in the background won't exist. And it's very nice in Google Earth that you can fly around it and um, have transparency and you're not hampered by this white frame in the background. So now you push um, the open button. And you can drag your profile to the origin um, in SketchUp Make. But before you place your profile um, by clicking any mouse button, we want to set the dimension to the proper size. You see now at the right corner that the dimensions now are 9 km. So the length is 9 km. But actually, this example is 30 km long. So before you press any mouse button, you just start typing the proper dimensions in meters or in feet if you have installed the program in feet. So you can type the dimensions, the, the length and also the height of your cross-sectional data and then you press enter and then you'll see that your profile will be resized to the proper dimensions that you selected. The next step consists of uh, geolocating, in fact, your cross-sectional data. So you go to File, Geolocation, and you add the location. Then an additional frame will open and you can uh, just give the address or the region in which your profile is uh, oriented. This example is an example of the North Eiffel Mountains located in Germany. So I added the, the close-by town near the origin of the profile. You will see that a white frame will, um, will appear. So you can select the region, then uh, grab the region, and the region will be imported into SketchUp Make. You see that this region is rather small, uh, because SketchUp Make doesn't allow to uh, import uh, big regions. But in fact, it's, it's not that important, because once you have the, the origin uh, correctly, you will see later that you can move uh, your profiles or move it to other dimensions or drag it to, the, to its proper location. So this is just only a first step. The next step consists of rotating your profile. So you can um, orient it in the proper uh, orientation. So you just use the rotate button. You will see that you can rotate it in whatever orientation you want. In this example, this uh, profile is in fact northwest southeast oriented. So you can drag the blue circle in the XY uh, plane and then um, you can rotate your profile along the z-axis. So this is the final location you see now um, in SketchUp Make. The next step consists of um, exporting your data towards uh, to Google Earth. And uh, this preview button effect, like I told you before, uh, is removed in the version 2016. So that's why I advise you to download 2015 of SketchUp Make. If you click on Preview in Google Earth, you will see that Google Earth will open and now your profile is exported to Google Earth. Uh, apparently in this example, my profile is not uh, located to the targeted uh, profile locations. So what you can do is either you go back to SketchUp Make and orient it properly, or an easier solution is just you go to the 
sub preview zero layer you open it uh, right click on the model and go to the properties of the model you will see that in the properties of the model uh, a box appears and you can play around now with the orientation of your profile first you want to uh, rotate it properly to the parallel to the targeted location and the second step you can move by dragging your box in fact to the targeted location once you reach a satisfying result you can press ok and now your profile is um, placed properly in the correct uh, location if you want you can export this um, profile location like a KMZ file just by right click on your model and save it so it's very nice afterwards to have this KMZ file and the view immediately available in your browser so this is the final location, the final view of this example um, of course you can do different stuff, you can imp uh, import several parallel profiles or crossing uh, cross-sectional data just to have more um, profiles in Google Earth like I show in this example, these are several parallel and crossing electrical tomography profiles shown in the region in um, Belgium you also can go crazy because size doesn't matter in SketchUp Make you can for instance import very large global models like this tomography cross-section to um, the US and Canada in which the curvature of the earth is taken into account so it's really nice to fly around it and to visualize also these very big models so that's it I hope you will enjoy this tool and will impress your audience during your next conference presentation thank you very much